So I'm pretty irritated. The last few hours I've been sitting around with my fucking dick in my hand waiting for my friend to say, Alright, well, come on over. Because earlier today it's like, hey, I know your birthday's soon. Uh, Zach's birthday's today. We're gonna, we're gonna probably hang out, but uh, he doesn't get off work till like 11, so uh, I'll hit you up around then and let you know and we'll all hang out. Oh, it's 1 a.m. now. I asked him around 11.30, so what's up? Message seen one minute later and then not responded to. It's like, really, dude? I haven't seen him in, like, I haven't seen these people in, like, three years now. Finally, like, hey, let's hang out. And then you just, you know, blow it off. At least give me a, hey, man, it ain't happening tonight. Zach's too tired. Which I assume is what happened. You know, you get off work at 11, you don't want to go out and fucking hang out. Probably got to work tomorrow, too. But, you know, tell me so I'm not sitting around fucking waiting. So I've been not playing this because I was like, alright, well, I'm probably going to leave so I don't want to get started and have to take off. Well, I think uh, waiting two hours past the fucking deadline, I think that's uh, way more than enough time. Also, what the fuck was I doing in this? It's been a while. Oh, I also did a shitload of expeditions, like, I think I unlocked a bunch of places. Some treasures. This design... could it really be? She's so pretty. Children's clothes. More odd junk, huh? You know, I was just sitting around playing... Oh, this one. Oh, that's a fine piece. Sit around playing on Miyoji and killing time and had this going in the background, so yeah, I'm at the level eight now. Hit my expedition levels catching up to my character level. Yeah, forty five hours, but I've actually played what? Maybe eight? What was I doing? Alright, I'm supposed to go track down a warehouse and blow shit up. I remember now. <laughs> Why I don't keep in touch with friends? You're all just selfish assholes and... If it's easier to not say anything than the just do a quick, hey man, it ain't happening tonight, you just won't. Fuck people. High Priest Gideon is an honest and righteous man. He's dedicated his life to his faith and to the church. Now, as the representative of the clergy, he's thrown his full support behind the Abbey. Hmm. So, he's a man of principle. That's right. He even donated his personal savings to support orphanages and hospitals. So be at ease. For he offers up prayers for all equally, even for the more dubious among us, such as yourselves. Bitch, what are right. you saying to me? I'm so grateful. I can feel the tears of gratitude coming. Any moment now. Oh, me dubious. Fuck you up. Alright. Doing a quick check to make sure everything's recording properly. Now and then I'll forget to hit the mic button, or I'll only hit stream and not hit record. You gotta make sure I'm not dumb. The moment. Outrageous! Why doesn't the Abbey crack down on the taverns? They are dens of evil that dispense only luxury, temptation, and escape. They I must like be those things. I'd rather they didn't. That place over there has the best drinks in town. <laughs> See? That's exactly what I mean. They tempt us into wickedness, ruining man and woman alike. The more you drink, the happier and more joyful you get. All the important things in life stop mattering. 
Their mabo curry is delicious. <laughs> no, no, no. See? Even children are being tempted by their evils. Eating both mabo and curry together, <laughs> it's heresy. There is a limit to the amount of luxury one can endure. What the world needs now is abstinence, austerity, restraint. If you want to deny yourself, go ahead and do it. But don't force your beliefs onto others. People eat to live. Some even live to eat. It's part of being human. Velvet. That's pretty convincing coming from you. Leave me alone. D hey, I want to eat and drink to my heart's content too, but doing so makes us no better than animals. Bitch, we are animals. For humanity to survive these harsh times, we need to overcome our instincts and act like rational beings. <laughs> rational, yeah. You're in a church. Can't talk about rational. Come, sinner, and repent your wicked deeds. Repent? Are you talking to me? Yes. When I look at your vestments around your chest, your hips, I can tell your sins are many and deep. Say that again. Exactly what were you staring at? Well, mankind is rife with sin, and I am no different. You must acknowledge your misdeeds and confess them to the great Empyreans. By confronting your sinful urges, you will be empowered to resist them. Is that so? You're saying I just need to confess all the bad things I've done? Yes. Confess your darkest sins, my child, assured that none is beyond the forgiveness of the Empyreans. Empyreans, hear my confession. When I was in prison, I instigated a riot and used it to break myself out. Huh? Then I set fire to some warehouses in town and stole a ship to make my getaway. Then I teamed up with some pirates to destroy a military fortress. I killed anyone who got in my way. What? What do you think, father? Will the Empyreans forgive me? I... Uh, uh, I think you should turn yourself into the Abbey and let them help you repent. That's convenient. I'm already planning on going to the Abbey. You see, I'm going to kill their boss, Artorius. I, I need an exorcist over here, quick! Somebody! Anybody! <laughs> That's about how I figured it'd go. Now, if this game had any balls, which it doesn't, it's the same old Paragon route, except your demons. Right now, I would have to be slaughtering this whole church of people. Like the Kingsmen. But you're not a real bad guy. You're just a demon good guy. Praise be Shepherd Artorius. Thanks to him, people have started worshipping the Empyreans again. Now our salvation is at hand. The Empyreans? They are the gods that created the world? Yeah. The four Empyreans each rule one of the four elements. Earth, water, fire, and wind. But I read in a book that Empyrean worship is the oldest form of human religion. The Midgan Church also worshipped the Empyreans. But because we've had peace and prosperity for so long, true belief in them has slowly faded. So now that people are frightened of the demon blight, they're clinging to their once forgotten gods. Wait a minute. Maybe Artorius is using religion to manipulate the people into following him. No! Oh, great Empyreans! Please grant Shepherd Artorius the strength to save your humble servants. If that's the case, he's done a damn fine job of it. Nobody's ever used religion to manipulate the masses. Get out of here. That is one impressive cathedral. It fits the capital. Yes. It's incredible. Hmm. It's as I heard. It wasn't built using Moloch arts, but the latest architectural engineering techniques. Look at those arches. The mathematical logic. The structural ornamentation. This is an architectural marvel. So, is that Empyrean in there? I highly doubt it. 
Empyrean worship has become mostly symbolic over the years. This cathedral wasn't built as a place of worship. It's commemorative, to celebrate the continent's unification. In other They're words, me. a show of power. That explains why they spared no expense. It's too early to be impressed. This is just the entrance, and it's unfinished. They're constructing a colossal temple inside here. They say it'll take centuries to complete. Centuries? That's insane. How could they think that's a good idea? Your guess is as good as mine. I suppose that sometimes, humans just have a need to push their limits. Yeah, seriously. The Reaper and a Demon are shaking their heads at this overwrought monstrosity. Intrinsic worth, zero. I wonder what it'll look like when it's finished. Pretty much the same, just bigger on the inside. for like a quest log that will give me guidance of where I'm going. <clears throat> that is not what I got. He may be the shepherd now, but no one knows who he was before the advent, or what he did. No, they don't. But he showed up one day with a malak in tow, routed the demons, and formed a band of skilled young exorcists. That sounds pretty suspicious. Right? But the kingdom readily acknowledged his abilities and his conviction, and threw its full support behind him. Maybe he plans on usurping power for himself. Not likely. He's worked tirelessly to rebuild the church and state, and to shore up the royal family's position. Lining his pockets from the state coffers, then? Not the slightest chance. Rather, he's got all the other higher-ups worried he's working himself to death. Then what's he after? Hmm. Maybe there is no ulterior motive. Maybe he is our shepherd. Whatever the case, if he hadn't shown up when he did three years ago, Midgan would be a smoking ruin. warehouse I'm supposed to be going to. Is it even in this city or... I didn't see any route I didn't go.
Greetings, Maggie Lou's Menagerie. You've come to exactly the right place. You must be a Bloodwing. What do you want? You already know about the Code Red demons, right? The really strong demons the Abbey wants gone? Yeah. Would you ever consider hunting them down for us? We'll reward you properly. Reward? Why pay us when the Abbey would do it for free? It's complicated. The Abbey is calculating in their deployments, especially where Code Red demons are concerned. I get it. They'll only act if they determine the demon would cause more harm than the losses they'd incur in battling it. That does seem logical. But sometimes, people have lost a loved one to such a demon. Or sometimes, they have a connection to the person the demon used to be. Wherever there's a Code Red demon, you can bet there are people willing to pay good money to have it killed. <sighs> and let me guess, that's where the Blood Wings come in. Exactly. There are Blood Wings all throughout Midgant who have information on these Code Red demons. If you defeat a demon and report back to my comrades, they'll make sure you're well compensated. All right, I understand. But I won't make any promises. That's fine. No sense in drawing up a contract when the hunter probably won't survive anyway. If you get results, let us know. We'll hold up our end. That being said, I'd feel guilty if I didn't help out at least a little, so... Here, take this. Those blood wings are definitely a rough crowd. To be fair, things are never that straightforward when you're dealing with demons. All that matters is that there's something in it for us if we hunt those Code Red demons. The only thing better than fighting formidable foes is getting paid for it. Just remember that these Code Red demons are tough enough to make the Abbey shiver. We'd be wise not to underestimate them. We should talk to those Blood Wings before considering any of the marks. They might have information that will help us prepare. Yeah, and we better remember to upgrade our equipment. Right. Um, maybe don't have that conversation in the middle of a group of people. Hey, Laffy said. What is it, Rokuro? Mabo Curry. Huh? Oh. <laughs> You're an interesting one. You like Mabo curry that much, huh? It smells good. And it's creamy and kind of spicy. Eating it made me feel nice. I'd say you love it then. Do all Malakim have such an appetite? Each has their own tastes. Some eat a lot, some eat a little. Just like humans or demons. What do you like, Aizen? Drinks, I suppose. What else? Uh, pretty much... Just drinks. Don't you like anything else? Is it a problem if I don't? No. I'm just wondering. For me, it's drinks and candied sweet potatoes. That's where you boil strips of sweet potato in oil and then coat them in sugar, right? Yeah, I never get tired of them. So you like to drink, but you've also got a sweet tooth? Yeah. Is that so strange? No. Candied sweet potatoes. Sounds good. Uh, There's nothing to be ashamed of. It's just a sign that you're alive, remember? Right. I ate sweet potatoes today. Just plain. I didn't, you know, chop them up and put them in sugar. Just baked them. And couldn't eat all of them, because there's really a limit to how many of those things you can fucking eat. Especially if you don't chop them up and cover them in sugar. I'll finish this quick. Your style is really unique. Just wait until I... Oh, my God. 
Another victory. So blocked off. Ready to die? Think you can dodge? Just try. Perfect mayhem. This is power. We're finished here. Let's go. Only. Staring at the map and didn't even see it. Yet, yet. 
If you want to live, get out of my way. The daggers. It's back in town and I just missed it. It's probably not a marked fucking thing. I'll end this quickly. First off, you didn't touch me. Second off, if you did, it was from the front angle. Die. Unarmed? Hardly. These are deadly weapons. Scout ship. Well, we've learned one thing coming to the capital. The Abbey and Shepherd Artorius have expanded their power immensely. They might as well be the Empire now. They have the undying support of the populace. The Shepherd, savior of humanity. <laughs> I wonder what he meant by the blessings of the Empyrean Enominat. That's what they call the gods they worship in church, right? The Empyreans? He promised a lot in that speech. But can he really command such a power? I have no idea. Not even we Malachim know of them beyond the stories and legends. He called Enominat the fifth Empyrean. There should only be four, one ruling each element. Is he talking about a new Empyrean? Have you heard anything Luffy said? Sorry. I don't know anything about this. It doesn't matter. We should be careful about taking his words at face value. The man is no saint. He'll stop at nothing to achieve his aims. But there's no way he could have a god at his beck and call. Don't underestimate the Abbey. Trust me, I'm not. That's why I'm using the Shadow Guild to help us hunt them down. And to make sure that I kill him. Yeah, to that effect, uh... Warehouse? Start looking in nooks and crannies. It's a history book. 
titled The Rise and Fall of Midgand. About 800 years ago, our continent was conquered by a military force from another continent. Few records exist of the following 500 years, a period known as the Era of Darkness, or the Dark Period. Then 300 years ago, a great hero named Claudin Asgard reunited the kingdom, bringing an end to the Dark Period. Claudin, huh? Where have I heard that name before? All right, that's enough for today. Thanks for teaching me, Arthur. Your techniques are so amazing. Where did you learn them? They came from my own master, a man named Claudin. He developed them himself. Wow, they're so graceful. I wish I could move like that. I've taught you the forms, but for some reason your execution deviates from the ideal. Uh, well, my body just kind of moves on its own. You're a handful, Velvet. But I will say you do resemble Claudin some. He was a strange person himself. He always wore this peculiar cape, for instance. A uh, cape, you say? Deep down, Claudin was strong like fire, vivacious like water, steadfast like earth, and free like wind. I can't help but admire him to this day. Wow, I'd love to meet him. Sadly, that's impossible. Is he... dead? Yes, he is. He died to protect me. That's why I... No way. The events recounted in this book happened 300 years ago. It can't be the same Claudin. Uh, Velvet, are you okay? I'm fine. Don't mind me. King Claudin was quite strong, wasn't he? He was more than just that. He's the most well-loved and trusted king in our history. Or so the book claims. To this day, all of Midgan's rulers claim to be direct descendants of King Claude and Asgard. Knowing that, there might be meaning behind them bestowing Arcturus with the grandiose title of Shepherd. I could see it as an attempt to recreate the same glory enjoyed by the Hero King who ended the Dark Period. If that's true, it's a childish ploy. The world's not so easily changed. I wouldn't be so sure. What matters is that the title inspires hope in the people, who in turn give him their support. Then, as their shepherd, he can guide his flock in any direction he pleases. Hmm. If Arturius knowingly accepted that title, we can be sure he's fully committed to his cause. Oh, he's certainly committed. I've seen just how far he's willing to go. Really? What happened? A symbol next to the tavern. See what that's about. Oh, probably one of the red demon hunter guys. Look at that. Hoping the lady would be here and give me a better description of where I'm going. Oh, she's right here. Okay, Port Sexton. I was right that it's not in this city.
Oh, it's way too soon. Dirty fuck. Really? Twice that it stunned me right as I hit the fucking button to go berserker. Oh, I'm dead. Like, why can't I move? I hate how sometimes it just doesn't acknowledge that you hit the button. I think it's when you're mid combo it doesn't like you using it. How many fucking stuns am I gonna get? better when it acknowledges that I hit the fucking button. I refuse to fall here. Regular plant. One cost ninety five. Definitely need to collect those. Yeah. Did not hit that button. Finger was nowhere near it.
Boost any of this shit that I can boost. Nectar is a powerful nutritional supplement, but it's also addictive. So only medical professionals are permitted to make it and prescribe its use. But lately, black market nectar is being moved around in huge quantities. Are you selling? Don't be ridiculous. I am an honest merchant. Then again, demand for it is probably huge. Besides being highly nutritional, it is also highly intoxicating. Look at the age we're living in. I don't blame people for wanting an escape. You think so? I think a good drink is far better. What's peculiar about the whole thing is the Abbey. They could put a stop to it easily if they wanted to. Anyway, no one knows who's making it or how it's getting around, but good citizens shouldn't touch the stuff. Got it? Or it's coming from the Abbey. Got it. There's some drug dealing going on in Zesteria as well.
Have you heard? The Abbey is building a new base. I hear it's a huge temple in the middle of some mountains near a site of ancient ruins. If they've got time to build a temple, they should use it to kill more demons instead. You sure you want to talk like that here? Ha! I'm different from all those losers who swoon over the shepherd's pretty words and ignore reality. No one's found a way to cure demon blight yet, and demons are still swarming everywhere. Sure, maybe things are not as bad as they could have been, but we still have no idea what's going to happen next. Think about it! Demons could be infiltrating the city as we speak, and we'd be none the wiser! Yep, you're completely right. See, because she's a demon. Get it? All right, the guards are gone. Let's move in. Benwick and the crew did a fine job. Red crates. These must be our targets. Up the seal open. of Midgant Cathedral? Should we look inside? There's yeah. no need. Burn them, Lafayette. Okay. Tim it's nectar. Definitely should look inside before you set fire to something. We're done here. Let's go. Also, we're only supposed to burn the red ones. Leaving it uncontrolled to just burn down the that whole warehouse. Cost too much time. I must report to Lord Artorias as soon as possible. <gasps> it's you! Oh, hey. The crybaby. Eleanor Hume, Exorcist Praetor! This I is want that. that he won't get away this time! <laughs> you really want to fight, don't you? No escape! No escape! No escape! Ready to die? Think you can dodge? Just try! Perfect mayhem! without your Malachim? No! You set the storehouse ablaze?! The people have worked so hard to withstand this time of crisis. How can you destroy what they have so painstakingly built?! Because I'm not human. You'll pay for this, you demon! More Malachim up her sleeves! I will protect you, Madam Eleanor! Yes. He's adorable. Uh, am I? Ooh, I found you at last. That bad, bad voice! The info, you traitor! You'll never leave my clutches again! Not her! No! What are you doing? Get out there and fight! Like directly, they bust you while you fight. It is! Fire! The fire has spread enough. Let's get going. You're coming with us. Let me go! Witch nippers! Madam Exorcist! What happened? Oh, you're badly hurt. I can wait. Gather the people and put out that fire. Y yes, madam. Tell me, do you know what was being kept in that warehouse? Um, mostly nectar, I believe. Vast stores of the medicine, provided by High Priest Gideon, to be distributed to doctors across the land. 
medicine given by the church. Why would anybody destroy it? Because it's an addictive drug that's being peddled as medicine. Mastery out of that. Whew. Looks like we're in the clear. That weird little Moloch was the one you were looking for? Not a Moloch. The very same. The Moloch Bienfu! A creature of unfathomable wickedness and beguiling cuteness who broke the heart of this wretched maiden! <laughs> Once I finally catch him, who knows what I'll be capable of? Not sure I get it. Me neither. Good. Pray that you never do. Let's go back and report. Port our success. Want to go in and buy some boots? But I'm at the other city. I'll end this quickly. Another victory. Not available. Why don't you sell the thing I want to buy? What's wrong with you? What's the deal with you and that exorcist Eleanor? She had tears in her eyes when we first saw her at Northgand. 
Velvet pokes fun at her, calling her the crybaby exorcist. Why would an exorcist cry? Sacrificing the individual for the good of the many is part of Artorius' philosophy. She seemed troubled by that. She's naive. That she can still carry on shows just how strong she is. It looks like they don't hand out the rank of Praetor to just anyone. Hmm? Just stay sharp around her. That's all. By the way, is that the Anvil character that been pretty easy. was after really a Moloch? He may look strange, but yes, he's still a Moloch. That means Mogilu is an exorcist. Why does she call herself a witch then? If she got locked up in that prison, she must have been kicked out of the Abbey. Or she could be a fraud. Yeah. Even if she wasn't an exorcist, she could still perform some tricks with a Moloch like that. I will protect you, Madame Eleanor. Face me now, demon. <laughs> right? <laughs> Was that laughter? Uh, I'm sorry. Why apologize? Bienfu is funny, right? Right. Then if you want to laugh, laugh! <laughs> If you think that's funny, you should give it a try for yourself. Say, Hi, I'm Luffy Set. Uh, all right. Hi, I'm Luffy Set. Knock it off. Huh? What's the problem? People are staring. Don't attract attention. I'm sorry. <sighs> She's so uptight. Let's try it together later, Luffy Set. Uh, all right. <laughs> In an hour. This recipe looks real tasty. All the Norman shit just hits it Scott once. Ship. Norman Island, then I see Normans. I guess they're a type of Malik. But they're just so annoying. Not a fan. Once I get them and they start buffing my stats, then I'll, you know, overlook the annoying thing and say, hey, stats. I don't know if you can collect them and equip them in this game like you could Zestoria. Zestoria. Got some stupid ass names. What was wrong with, you know, I was gonna say The Abyss, like that one's okay, but then, you know, there's also Symphonia. It's not like the dumb names is a new thing. Trouble at the docks was there? Well, I hated so Luke. long as the job was done. Luke von Fabre. Good luck. I look forward to hearing your report. Okay. A scholar missing on the road to Gallus Lake. Strange request. If they know where he vanished, why don't they just look for him there? Exactly. And what's so illegal about a missing persons case that you gotta go to the underworld? I can think of a few possibilities, but our job isn't to ask questions. Probably still a good idea. In case he got the thing I wanted in the five seconds that I was over there. Real quick, just to make sure I didn't get a message saying, Hey man, why aren't you coming to hang out? Nope. No messages. Fucking asshole. Oh, and he's online even. 2 a.m. Still online. Couldn't, you know, hit me up, say, Yeah. Not happening tonight.
sneaky enemies around here. Hey, that noisy demon looks pretty strong. Think it might be one of those code red demons? Doesn't matter to me. I'd rather not waste my time fighting it if I don't need to. I don't see it as a waste of time. Look, the Abbey only has a handful of exorcists strong enough to take something like this down, right? Probably. I'd say Praetors like Lady Teresa and the Legates could probably take it on. And those guys are all your enemies, right? <sighs> I see where you're going with this. The Abbey is strong, both in its individual members and as an organization. And if we're to close the gap between us and them, we need to fight strong opponents like this demon. That's what I would do. But you're free to make your own decision. All right. I'll concede the point. But we should determine just how strong it is first. I don't want us to bite off more than we can chew. That goes without saying. I'd rather not get myself killed due to inadequate preparation. You don't have to worry that much. If you want to go fight, I'll help keep you safe myself. I promise. I don't recall asking for your protection. You don't need to. Hmm. Thought it was supposed to be some kind of Naga over here. Move it or die. Let's go. Reach it from here. Come back to it later. Be another one in here, though. that I'd forget about it if I were you looks like you want to die see this see this If you want to live, get out of my way.
fight. My eyes. Damn button to be back. It's stunned. Always good to try out new moves on a 
on a boss monster. It's a safe place to beta test. This thing fucks me up. Probably oh, need that. Are we ready for this? Still in berserk mode, but whatever. Disgraceful. I'm in your death. Hold the blast. I completely just hit the fucking berserk button. So goddamn irritating. Are we ready for this? I don't know why the trigger buttons just seem to not want to work in this fucking game. Like I'm hitting the BG one right now. Took minimal ten times pressing that button before that went off. In the first nine of them, I wasn't even trying to do a combo. I finally said, "Fuck it, I'll do a combo," and then it actually worked. So that's not what's interrupting it. It's just not responding. It's not that fucking strong, and I could have just beat it. Let's go! 
Close one, but I am the victor. A full word killer. Deception. Make a fight. Storm kill. See this? See this? Don't touch you. Let's go. Twin whip. See this? Twin whip. Deception. Deception. Make a fight. I saw that shit coming. Really? Did I just get healed for like 26? Is that a real heal on me? I couldn't hear him hit Berserk. That's why I was ready to go in and fight. Shut up and be bullshit! I won't miss! 
Form zero! I say, go berserk, you go berserk. I don't get how sometimes it's so unresponsive, and other times it'll let me just chain it like that until it didn't. The end there, it stopped. One life, but sure. Lucky set. I didn't slap him around, but do zero damage. That was annoying. I feel like I'm missing something about the requirements to do the shit. I thought it was just three... three thingies. Three little diamonds. I guess they call souls. I feel like I can't just be, you know, experiencing just that much unresponsiveness or that much of a fuck up of inputting a button that's kind of hard to miss. I feel like there's gotta be an extra requirement I somehow overlook. Cause right there it just took me like 10 times again. As soon as I got out of the last one, I was spamming it for a new one. Sometimes it chains together perfectly and other times it just, nope, I don't feel like it. Your style is really unique. No, it's not just this controller being fucked. Only one button's fucked on it and has nothing to do with that. Scout ships. Button shouldn't be messing up all that shit. Huh. 
a foe worth There's a overlay thing I could get to show my button presses and how often they're not going through or something random that I didn't hit is going through. Help me identify one this user error. I also don't get how sometimes that seems to go on forever without finishing with an execution and other times it'll do it in two attacks. Clearly do not fully understand how that shit works. because the game gave 50 fucking tutorials and eventually I was just exhausted with them. half ass reading them. Probably explained it to me perfectly and I just didn't read it right. is so overexposed. It's hard to see anything. Who goes there? What on earth are guards doing here? It looks better than my other monitor. Watch out! They've got Moloki! They're no ordinary cell swords. Suppose they were guarding. A little lost lamb, perhaps. You think they're holding Mendy captive?
I mean, I might have. Is there someone here named Mendy? We've come to help. Oh, thank goodness. I can finally go home. So they were keeping you prisoner. They made you mine vermilion ore? Yes, I discovered a method of refining it, and it cost me dearly. What's vermilion ore? A rare stone made of concentrated nutrients. It can be used in medicine, but it's also poisonous. Correct. So you were making medicine? Yes. They were forcing me to make a nutritional substance called nectar. Isn't vermilion ore supposed to be highly addictive? I, I told them that. But what choice did I have? Whatever. Our task is complete. Can you get back to Logris on your own? I can. I'm terribly sorry. Why apologize to me? We've done what we came for. Let's get back to the old lady. those teleport thingies around here. Uh, my arms doesn't look nearly as overexposed, so it must be partly my monitor settings. Unless I did turn it up for uh, Conan Exiles to see in the dark a little better. I think I turned it up that much. Damn, it's bright. But on the recording, it doesn't look that bright. one cat box yet.
<laughs> the fire part really unnecessary. Just make it a boulder I can push in. Of shit. I think there had to be at least one here. Two in a row with no reward. Hmm. Notice that one over there, instead of having the red mark, has a exclamation point like there's a cutscene. I hear Mendy made it back safe. That takes care of that problem. Keep up the good work. So, somebody means to ambush the Royal Medical Society on the Danan Highway. The Royal Medical Society is a group of doctors that travel around healing the sick. They're funded by donations given by ordinary folk. Hmm. Why would anyone attack them? Don't ask me. Some people are just twisted. And why would an underworld group defend them? 
Who knows? Something to do with the attackers, perhaps? I'm feeling exhausted, mentally and physically. 